install our drive plate, first thing I want to do is get some lube up into that bearing. And we indexed earlier how we were happy with this. And so here's one of my index marks and there's my other mark. And make sure that the fingers of the uh, pressure ring are where we want them to be. Okay, so I've just got it kind of down snug, and we know that we had a real acceptable run out, and so I'm going to check it again because there is some movement that you can get out of this drive plate, even though it has a flange that catches a slides over the brake drum. There's still some movement in this thing, so I'd like to just verify that we have still acceptable run out so I've just got it on kind of snug and I have maybe uh, two here it looks like and I'm just going to rotate my drive plate around a little bit and I'm going to check it again and I've got uh, two again it looks like and I'm going to rotate it again and check it and I've got maybe a three there and one more time and I got little or nothing so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down okay I've snugged them down I'm gonna check it again and yep, I'm still still where I was. A couple of two thousandths or so run out. So I'm happy with how the drive plate has set on it. Uh, there is no torque spec. Model T Henry Ford never had a torque spec, but I figure you can put about 20, 25 pounds of torque and that little impact battery operated impact that we got usually set stuff down about 25 pounds so I'm just going to check it and just make sure and we'll get out our safety wire and we'll wire these up in pairs first and this one's going to come around that way so I ultimately got to end up there always use your safety wire to where it's pulling against the direction it would come unloose Trim off our axis and get our wire down, and we'll do the same uh, thing on the other two. We're going to install our clutch spring assembly. Uh, the cap that goes on it has a hole for you to be able to put the pin in, and then you need to rotate it to where the pin uh, comes to rest in a relief on it. So. Uh, and there is a front and a back to the uh, to this piece. It has a relief on it that fits the spring. Okay, so 
that's the way it goes on and I got my hole over here and I got my deal and you need to kind of rotate the spring around to where when I compress it I'll be able to uh, put that put that in our spring compressor is nothing but a couple of wheel flanges that we've cut out a notch so it'll slide down into uh, this area where the yoke rides on the clutch and just a couple of carriage bolts and removed a little material off of here so it would slide in to that and so I'll try to get that on there and then I'm just going to compress that spring and run it down there to where I can see my Up, pick up the hole and that looks like I got it there a hammer and a punch and I'm going to slide that pin in and just finish tapping it in or it's inside that piece it is I'll rotate our top piece to where the pin drops into the relief that was there and back this off set our spring height to two inches there's two different me measurements that people use two inches on the spring height and there is a measurement between the finger and the base of the the, the sleeve the shaft I just use the two inch measurement and I'm going to take these down evenly come down and make contact and then I'll just do a half turn on each one and kind of check see where I'm at so half turn check it All right, that's two inches and get over here on this one and it's going to be another half turn on it and there's two inches and that one's just about there Two inches, two inches, and two inches. So I'll get three cotter keys and run in here and just bend them over slightly. Uh, two inches is a good place to start. Uh, it's not uncommon to have to go in and adjust the fingers after the uh, the watch clutch has uh, seated itself in uh, so I don't want to just bend them cotter keys all the way over I want to make sure I can access them through the transmission door if you do that it wouldn't hurt to put a piece of safety wire through the loop or a pair of vice grips that you can lock on it before you pull it out because if you drop that inside the engine transmission and hogshead um, you know you got to go fish for it or let it go and hope that it doesn't get in the gears and break stuff but at any rate this completes our transmission build and now that we have pressure against the clutch disc you can no longer turn this uh, because we're now in we would be in direct drive so that completes our transmission uh, mounting alignment balancing 
we're ready to 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 go on. Uh, we still have left a fourth main to fit to here, and of course for the pan, the rods, and the front plates, and some other things on it. So.